So maybe you're a long time Mac user or maybe you've picked up one of the latest MacBooks and you're looking for some cool apps to help you get your stuff done quicker, better and faster. This one's for you. And let me tell you up front, all the apps I'm going to cover here are genuinely apps I use to help run my business most days and all of them together only cost $9.99 a month. Let me explain. So this video is going to be about some of the most useful apps I use for my MacBook most days to help me stay productive, speed up my creative workflows and generally level up how I use my Mac to help solve problems as quickly as possible. And all apps I mention here are included as part of the Setup service. Now if you've not heard of Setup before, you might have heard of Clean My Mac, which is probably one of the most recommended Mac apps out there. Well, the developer of Clean My Mac, which is a Ukrainian software house called MacPaw, also offer Setup, which is a smart way to get access to over 240 apps that would otherwise be paid for separately, but via a single monthly subscription. So before I come on to that, let me show you a bunch of apps here that I use most often in my life and my work. And I'm gonna skip clean my Mac which is included here but to be honest that by itself is worth the entry price alone but let's look at some that you might not have heard of and the first is called session so session is a Pomodoro timer with bells on and as well as being a Pomodoro timer designed to help you focus on certain tasks in bursts of highly focused time it lets you automatically block out distractions like other apps and websites when you're in a focus session and then allows you to track back to see how you've spent your focus time across past days or weeks and it syncs across to an iPhone app too so if you want to use it away from your Mac you can do that. Now if you struggle with distractions this one is a really good leveler. Next up we have Gemini and I don't know about you but I am terrible at managing my photos. When you've got the ability to take pretty much limitless photos on your phone that are synced to your computer automatically it can easily get to a point where you've got hundreds of duplicates that just aren't wanted. I do it all the time with taking about 10 pictures of my kids, trying to get them both to look at the camera and then forgetting to delete the ones that didn't work. The Gemini is great because it allows you to quickly analyze your photo library for pictures that are either exact duplicates or similar kinds of photos and then wipe them from the face of your Mac with a couple of clicks. Love it. So onto number three and this is MoneyWiz. This was an app I used to pay for before I consolidated it down into my setup subscription. Now when I was in my early 20s I got into a bit of a mess with credit card debt and ever since I repaid it all off I've been a bit obsessive about keeping track of spending and this app is a great way to do this without you having to do an awful lot to see where your money's going. So MoneyWiz is for anyone who wants to be able to keep track of banking across multiple accounts and run reports on things like expenditure or income that can be automatically grouped by category. And it also utilizes the open banking protocol so you can have your transactions automatically import into the app if you choose to give it access. Plus, it can automatically categorize income and expenditure into any categories that you've set up. So if you wanted to see how much you've spent on food or groceries over a certain time span across multiple accounts, MoneyWiz makes this a breeze. And next up we have Bartender. Now this app allows you to tidy up all the icons and apps shown in your menu bar so you don't have to be staring at them all the time. Now they don't get permanently removed and you can bring them all back in whatever order you want by opening up this little arrow here. So if you're into clean desktops and a more minimalist approach that's free of distractions, this is a must have. And within all of this, there's a little bonus app. This one is for the geeks. This is called iStat Menus. Now this lets you add a custom set of information into your Mac toolbar to track things like CPU, and GPU consumption and memory usage in real time. Now, I'm running an M1 Max MacBook Pro at the moment, so it's quite rare that I'm taxing all of the CPU or the GPU cores, but if things start slowing down, I can see quickly at a glance which of our apps are hogging all the power. And next we have VidCap. This one's quite specific to me as a video creator, but I've started using it quite a lot as it saves me so much time. Now, I don't put captions on my long form YouTube videos like this one, but I do often repurpose sections of my videos for Instagram or YouTube Shorts or for TikTok. And using this is as simple as loading in your video, telling it what language you want, and it'll even do translation for you, and then letting it do its thing. Now you can also alter the way the text appears and then customize the timing, add things like emojis if that's your thing. Now my options to do this at the moment are to outsource this to a video editing company or spend time typing these out in my Final Cut timeline and making sure the timeline is exact to the video. It's a mega detailed job and really not for me. So this app makes what would be either a very expensive outsourcing job or a time consuming personal job just as easy as pie. Finally, we have Downy. Now, occasionally I've got a need to reference or include an extract of an existing YouTube video in one of my own. But unless you subscribe to YouTube's own subscription service, most videos won't actually allow downloads. 
enter Downey. So to download your own copy of pretty much any online video, not just from YouTube, you copy the URL, paste it into the app, and then it'll grab you a copy in whatever resolution you tell it to. Now, obviously, if you are using another creator's work in your own, you should definitely check permission first and make sure they're credited appropriately. Otherwise, you're likely to be slapped with a copyright strike faster than you can say plagiarism. So there's a six or seven of the setup app collection that I use most days, certainly multiple times a week. And as you can see, the full collection of 240 plus apps is split out into use cases and collections to make it really easy for you to find what you're looking for. And then you only need to load onto your Mac what you need. And regardless of what you have installed, they all get updated automatically. So you know you're always on the freshest version. It also features an intelligent search that helps you track down what you need as quickly as possible. Now, I've actually been a setup customer since 2017. Look. Here's the proof and i can confidently tell you that subscription is worth it and just as a personal story here i was thinking about cancelling my subscription last year and a few days after having those thoughts i suffered a massive data loss on an external drive that i use after it became corrupted now i tried all sorts to retrieve the data but the backups didn't work and the drive was pretty much dead until I had this thought, maybe Setup has got a solution. Turns out there was actually an app in there called Distrill, which allows forensic analysis of any drive and possible retrieval of files that look like they might otherwise be gone. And guess what? It worked. Now this would have potentially have cost me weeks of time and vast amounts of money to put right just by myself, but I was able to get everything restored within a couple of hours, thanks to my Setup sub true story so if you're interested in checking out setup for yourself you can access a week's trial at the link below if you like it it's then 9.99 a month there are also plans that include ios apps and team plans if you wanted to use this in your workplace now if you do try this out let me know down there in the comments which are your favorite apps in the collection and of course if you've got any other questions or comments or thoughts again i'd love to hear from you and folks as always if this has helped you out at all please let me know with a like and if you'd like to see more maybe even a cheeky subscribe see you next time Thank <laughs> you.